Another reason that you might want to access the builder directly is if you need to pass this builder into another class or somewhere else. And this is going to be a slightly longer episode because we're going to take a look at an, a practical example of building out a filtering system from our query string. So let's say that we had a list of posts like we've been looking at. We might want to have some sort of published true. We might want to have some sort of date or order in here. And we would handle this with a filter a class and then a list of filter classes that we can enable and disable if we want to. So let's look at how we would write this out first of all, and then we'll see that builder going into this and we'll pull together the full example. So you could use this in your own projects if you wanted to. Okay, so I wanna create maybe some sort of new filterer in here. What would that take in? Well, it would probably take the entire request object in so we can pluck out the query string items. And then we'd want to pass in a builder because we want a fresh post builder that we can start to iterate through all of the filters that we want to apply and then return the final result. So in this case, the query method comes in really handy because we can just pass the post builder directly into this and just start to use it. And then what we can do is maybe call a filter method on here. Let's just pull that down to the next line and we can pass an array in of filters that we want to apply. So for example, a published filter. We'll just take a look at this as an example for now, not add any others, but by the end of this, you'll be able to pass in any other filters you want to. So we don't have these classes in here at the moment. So let's just go ahead and create a filtering folder here and let's create a filterer and let's create out a published filter. We'll make this a little bit messy. It could do with a much better organization, but we'll keep it as it is for now. So app and filtering, and this will be our filterer. And let's just copy and paste this to published filter like so. Okay, so the filterer here, we know needs to take in to the constructor, the request object. So let's pull that in and also a builder. So we know that we are actually getting a builder in here now. And let's just make these protected at this level so we can skip having to assign them. And let's make sure we pull in the namespace for both of these. And then we can look at pulling this together. Okay, so we have got our constructor with the two things that we need passed in. Remember, if we head over to roots and web, we've got this filter method that we need to pass in. So let's go ahead and create out a filter method in here that's going to take in an array of filters and then what we can do is we can iterate through these apply each filter that we've got passed in to this builder so we can continue to chain and then just return the result back to us okay let's take a look so the filters that we pass in could do with a common interface. We won't do that now because we're just looking at an example, but let's just start to iterate through each of these filters as a filter. And then in here, let's go and check if the request has a parameter on this filter object. So we can say if it doesn't, then we want to do an early return. So this request, and we're going to say has, and on our filter object, we'll have some sort of query parameter that we can define. We'll get to that in just a second. Now, if that doesn't exist, there's no point in filtering because basically this means it doesn't exist in the query string. Otherwise, with each individual filter that we pass in, we're gonna go ahead and apply that filter. We're gonna pass the builder through at each stage that will build this query up, and then we'll pass in this request get, and we'll grab the filter that we get from that or the query string part from that. And then finally, at the end of this, we'll go ahead and return the builder so we can continue to do what we want with it. We'll go over this in just a minute when we've done the full implementation, just in case it doesn't make any sense. But let's uh, fill in this published filter. Now, like I said, this could do with a common interface. So we know that it always has the apply method. Let's go ahead and just apply this now, though. We're going to get into this a builder. Let's do that in the right place and it will get a value in. So that might be published, true or false, for example. So let's pull that builder into here and then let's just do what we need to do. So builder where published and we'll pass in the value. Now, remember, if we come over to our filterer, we're using this query param property on here. So let's create this out now, query param, and let's decide what we want this to be called in our query string. And we'll just call that published. Okay, let's go over this really quickly before we start to run it. So in our implementation here, let's just pull in filterer and published filter. 
We're passing through the request and a builder so we can chain anything that we do on our filters to this builder. If we come over to our filterer, for each of our filters, which we've just got one at the moment, if it doesn't have, if the request doesn't have the parameter that exists here, so if we don't have published in the query string, then there's no point continuing. So what we do is we just do a return and skip over that and that should actually be continue. And then otherwise we call that apply method passing through the builder so we can perform some sort of action on that with the value from the query string. Once all of our filters have been applied, we then return the builder so we can chain on and do something like get or whatever we need to do. So let's try this out. Let's go over and just give this a refresh and we're not actually doing anything with the result yet. So it would help if we die dumped on posts and get and gave that a refresh, we get two. Now we can start to scope by published. So I'm gonna say publish true. Of course we get one here, which is published. And if I say published false, for example, we're gonna end up of course with the post that has not been published. So that's just a really, really basic implementation of some sort of filter. Of course, what you could now do is apply more filters to this if you wanted to. So you could apply some sort of order filter if you wanted to, uh, it's entirely up to you. We do have another course on this as well if you wanna learn how to do this, but make it a little bit better. So there we go, passing the builder in its sort of raw instance directly to something can be really, really helpful. And in this case, I think this makes sense.